Hi, I'm Paul Sharp from the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, and I'm here at the Dario to talk to you about two of the more popular string methods um, that are out there. Many bass players uh, started, of my generation that is, started by using the Samandel New Method Book One. It's kind of the first method book we all got. And most of us had a brilliant orange cover, which is very familiar to many of you. It's a very valuable book, done in a very logical fashion. I will say, many of us find it extremely tedious too, at least I did as a young man, trying to learn how to play the bass. However, what I've come to appreciate as a teacher is that it's very methodical. Basically teaches you all the notes in a given hand position. So you'll start with like half position. And you'll play all of those notes in half position, and then they'll give you, Samantha will give you a bunch of exercises to learn how to get from string to string and get comfortable with looking at those notes and playing them. It's a little bit like spinach. Terribly helpful, but perhaps not so pleasurable to eat. The next thing it'll, it'll have you do is move up to the next position, which would be first position. Basically moves up the neck of the instrument by half step with a whole bunch of uh, uh, exercises for each little position move. And then it combines all of the positions you learn. So you'll learn all the notes in half, first, and second position. And you'll have to shift between those. So it's kind of accumulating knowledge as you go. It's quite valuable for learning what is across from what on the bass. But not terribly musical uh, and not terribly interesting. Probably for each position there's one kind of musical exercise that actually I probably have a little fondness for since it harkens back to my youth. Um, the other method, other than the Samandel method, that came along by a guy named Francois Rabat. A Syrian living in Paris, or rather living in France, came up with this new technique, he called it. it. Became very popular in the 1970s. And for me, uh, he articulated in a way that hadn't been done just how we as bassists tend to think about the instrument. There are six positions in Rabat. From here to here which is remarkable, considering I kind of lost track of some mandal positioning right about here. <laughs> In my own study, I just learned where the notes were on what strings, and you're shifting so much anyway, positions weren't that helpful to me as a student. But when Raboth came along and said, okay, here are six basic positions. Like, here's the first position. <laughs> That means all of those notes from like uh, G to C are in the bounds of one position. You can see how my hand is operating. I'm doing what's called pivoting, leaving my thumb in place and just being flexible in the left hand. And then second position is from C to D. There isn't much pivoting involved in there. Of course, I can pivot out of that. Third position would be from D to G like that. Fourth position would be the basic thumb position pattern. These are all oriented again around basic landmarks. All bass players know where that G thumb harmonic is. We all know where D is. We all know where first position is. And also fourth finger on D in second position. Very obvious to us. So back to uh, the positions. Fourth position here, basically G, A, B, C, C sharp up to D to G, that's fifth position, and then sixth position are these high harmonics in this region, G, B, D, up to G, anywhere around there. So Raboth oriented all his teaching around these basic positions and pivoting in and out of them. Again, I found it terribly helpful to think of the bass in that way. I didn't really become a Roboth disciple or anything like that, but have found that way of thinking about the bass is very helpful to young students. Teachers uh, will be devotees of Samandel, of Roboth, 
or perhaps like me, where I try and draw the best from both traditions and both teaching methods. So, enjoy what your teacher gives you, know what's out there, and use it to the best of your ability. Have fun with it. Thanks.